Awesome. Okay. Hey, Converge community. Uh, we are doing our uh, podcast this week for spiritual formation or our spiritual practice. Last month, we've been going through uh, fasting and what that is and what it looks like. Uh, and if you joined along, that's great. If you didn't, that's fine too. And if you just watched, uh, that's awesome. Uh, this month, we are going to be going through uh, the discipline of witness yeah um and tammy would you just like to unpack what witness is what is not witness mm -hmm. yeah yeah i i think the first thing that kind of comes up when we say like witness might be like a, a an image of someone with a track in their hand walking down the street and handing it out and just like talking to anyone about jesus and that's not what when i talk witness and the discipline of witness that's not what i'm talking about what i'm talking about when i say witness well what is a witness a witness is think about like a law court right someone who tells what they saw or what they heard or what they experienced so that's what i mean by witness now the discipline of witness is doing just that telling what you saw what you heard what you experienced when we think about witness we think about story and then we think about context right mm -hmm. so i look at um a guy in the bible his name is paul he's found in the in the new testament and he was a pharisee he was a jewish man who became a christian um and in his you know christian life one of the things he did was he traveled around and he told people people about jesus he told them the good news but everywhere he went it was different right so we talk about context right keegan like mm -hmm. what is context for you uh context is extremely important to how you communicate something like your testimony or um you being a jesus follower or like even the words you use uh like when i was in school we talked about the whole idea of witness and missionaries witnessing i think a lot of times people think that um missionaries went over to different countries uh with like british government and military uh and forcefully made them convert and that is a reality and that did happen a lot um, and that's not something to rush over in Christian history. Uh, but at the same time, there's actually a lot of missionaries, especially in Asia, that would go uh, and um, adopt a lot of the cultural practices. Mm -hmm. And so uh, when we go into uh, witness or when we testify or tell our story, um, it doesn't need to look like how Paul taught it in synagogues or mm -hmm. um, how your pastor might teach it or pastors that you see on social media teach it or even like Christians, how they witness if you see that on YouTube or even if you, or Facebook or, you know, some friend shared it with you, mm -hmm. um, but that it's um, something extremely personal and like, uh very situational yeah. and, how, and it's built on a relationship yeah well when you look at paul he he told his story in a lot of different ways he told it with his actions like there was a place where he went and he he worked for a living he was a tent maker so mm -hmm. he he spoke um love and truth and hope through being a tent maker but in other places he used words like when he was on trial um, he used words to share the truth of what he believed. He didn't use a formula. He just told the story of the transformation that God had made in his life. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, what are, what do you think is important to do in making it easier to tell your story or like even start with telling your story? What's your... Mm -hmm opinions on that i think like that there's some important like some key components right the first is like acknowledging like what is my what is my story like how has god transformed my life and take time just thinking about that you know and also ask ask god like i spend time in prayer and just like conversing with god and i think you know sitting with god and asking him lord what what has been the transformative work you've done in my life? Prayer is very important. Also practicing that, like being able to tell 
someone your story. Now it doesn't, again, it's not like, I'm going to sit down with someone, I'm going to share exactly what I wrote down. It's no, it's just knowing what you would say if someone asked you the question, right? Mm -hmm. I think there's a responsibility piece of it too. When we look at like Paul talking again in 1 Corinthians 3, he says like, I planted the seed, Apollos watered it, God made it grow. So as far as like responsibility, my responsibility is just plant a seed. You know, God is the one who draws people to himself. So I don't have to put pressure on myself. Yeah, I think it's really important to notice when you are um, practicing this, um, even if you're like new or you're like, I'm awesome at this. I do this all the time. Is that um, that the Holy Spirit is at work in every single being and mm -hmm. whether that be human or creation, um, the Holy Spirit uh, draws individuals and situations uh, to uh, their self. Um, and, and so you working alongside, uh, the Holy Spirit, God, Jesus is extremely important in this. Um, because being aware through prayer and practice and asking God where and how you can tell your story is extremely important. Um, yeah. and also then, um, it doesn't make us, uh, trample over people and no, possibly um possibly like sin in the process of doing witness yeah which happens a lot we need to be good listeners mm -hmm. i i think that's part of the discipline of witness is being a good listener yeah uh mm -hmm. when you can listen you can respond better uh yeah. and also it, it acknowledges uh people as people to be quite honest and instead of um a person that you're trying to get to join the club <laughs> because that's really what like that's not it um if i found hope if i found a source of love i want to share that right mm -hmm. but i'm not going to trample over anyone in a way that's not hopeful not bringing hope not bringing love that's just counter to the message that I would like to share. Mm, that's yeah. good. So mm -hmm. moving forward within this week, uh, what do you recommend as an exercise or practice for individuals to begin their journey on witness or yeah. telling their testimony or telling their story, however you want? Sharing your story. I think that like prayer is part of it for sure. Mm -hmm. Just sitting down and talking with God and asking him to even remind you of times where he's wor been at work in your life and how he's acknowledging how he's at work in your life right now. Um, think about some of the stories in the Bible even that you have read um, or ask us for some examples of stories that you can read of where God ha God was at work and someone had a story to tell. Uh, I think about, you know, the story in Exodus, how the Jews left Egypt. Maybe you want to read that story for yourself and just think about, like, what's my redemption story? Um, the Israelites were not perfect in that story, let's be clear. There was a lot of complaining, there was a lot of whining, you know, Moses had to deal with a lot of stuff, not just from the Egyptians, but from the people that, you know, he rescued with God's help. Um, so we don't look at this with rose-colored glasses at all, uh, but think about that in your own story too. Like, don't look at your story through rose-colored glasses. You are not perfect, I am not perfect. Um, also think about maybe like, what has God given you in your life? You know, is he giving you peace? When? Has he given you hope? When? And asking God, even just like I said before, to just bring up a moment in your life. These are good practices. Remembering, I think is a really good practice for us. And maybe that's what you can do this week is just spend some time remembering. Nice. Awesome. Uh, so I believe that brings us to a close uh, for this week. Mm -hmm. uh, next week, we'll dig a little bit deeper, um, share our own experiences with uh, sharing our testimony, uh, witnessing, uh, telling our story or telling Jesus' story to other individuals and um, give you some more ideas that you could possibly build into your week, your uh, daily practice as uh, we build this. Sounds we'll good. See you next week.